Hello my friends and welcome to another video of my channel. In this video I'm gonna talk about view binding. Here in the activity underscore main I have a text view as always and uh, if you don't know how to use text view you can click on this link and watch video about the text view. I am going to set an ID for this. Easy hello. That's a good idea. Okay. Then uh, let's go to main activity dot kt. Uh, here, before using any widget, we have to initialize it. We have uh, three main ways to initialize the widgets. The easiest way or the traditional way, let's say, uh, is to uh, write here late init variable and write a name here. txt for example, hello and mention the type of it uh, it's a text view then here in the on create we have to mention the name that we wrote here and then dot uh, sorry uh, equals to find view by id r dot id dot and tv hello here is the id and now we can by mentioning this name using this uh, text view here but uh, this is an old way to do it and nowadays in the newer version we have other ways the next way that we had uh, in the newer version was uh, to use the kotlin synthetic and automatically it was added into the dependencies and uh, by just writing the name of the widget the id of the widget like here uh, tv hello it was uh, coming here and you could use it and now because of the null pointer exception and null safety it deprecated and it doesn't work anymore if you want you can add uh, the dependencies uh, by yourself manually but i don't recommend you to use it the best way and the most simple way is to use view binding and this is the newest version of uh, initializing the widgets for view binding first of all we have to go to build.gradle module between these two brackets in the Android field, you have to add uh, build features. Then just right here, write uh, view binding true. You shouldn't add anything between these two, uh, just uh, like uh, equal or something. Just right view binding true and then sync tab and now it's ready to use okay in the main activity dot kt we have to uh, write private late init variable and binding and the first line the thing that you want then here before set content view we have to initialize the binding so binding uh, equals to activity main dot either inflate or binding uh, if we are after a set content using and uh, initializing the binding we have to use this the activity main binding dot build and add the view and before that we can use this and just write here layout template and 
after initializing the binding we will not use anymore this type of code r that layout so here we should use binding dot uh, root for the activity and for the widgets that we are using in application we can write binding dot and here the list of the widgets will be appearing uh, text view i can use it and i can do anything i want with this text view now for example i can add uh, text uh, equal to and i can install it on the emulator and you will see as you see here i changed the hello world to mkr developer uh, by using view binding and if i want i can add other things here for example i can add a button here if i want and if you don't know how to use the button you can click on this link and watch video about the button and uh, the idea of the button bt and test can be and here there is no need to write anything more just binding dot and it's here btn test and i can use it just like this i can add set and click listener to it and do anything do whatever i want so that was everything about view binding i hope you like this video if you find this video interesting please remember to share it and give me a thumbs up if you have any question write down below in the comment box and i will be happy to answer to your questions have a good time see you in next videos bye bye